But we amongst men, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't play those type of games, you know what I'm saying? We brothers, all we got is each other, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I ain't never played no gay stuff with my brothers, ever. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, let's not even do that, man. That's not even, that's not even a single way, you know what I'm saying? Have no kind of even a single way, because uh, that ain't, you know, that ain't the real. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what we can do, we're talking about how we get some money together, how we get some new level together. We give y'all some keys, man. If it don't matter, don't remember. Feel me? You don't hard to pay the shit towards your bucks. You feel me? You overlook the matter. And if it's that significant, then you go to him, you talk to him, and say, bro, you know, I'm talking about you, you can't do it while you're in your emotion, though, because it, it ain't going to be right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got to offer to him, bro, you go to him, and you say, bro, listen, man, I really, you know what I'm saying, I really appreciate, you know, I didn't like what you said or what you did or whatever the case may be. You feel That's how you addressed it. But you don't never want to address anything in your, in your emotions, in your anger. You feel me? Because you'll do things that you'll make a, 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 a you'll have a reaction to a situation and make a decision man, that in the long term you'll look back and be like, damn, I wish those were my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I wish my brother was here. You feel me? Man, they killing us. They killing us by themselves. We don't need that help. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you gotta out with your brother, man. You know, don't, don't, don't put on, man. Ain't no, ain't no sense in perpetuating it, man. And I'm here to say that now because, man, I think, I think about some of the relationships I've had with people, man, how they look sour or whatever the case may be. You know, some relationships ain't meant to be held on to, dude. But then, man, the way I see y'all, man, y'all always together. You feel? Y'all always together. You feel? So y'all need to be able to come. Wants each other and talk about, man, how can we get to this level realistic? You feel me? Realistic, logically, what makes sense? I figured out a long time ago that I like talking to people. I'm good with people. You feel me? I'm a people person. Yeah. And so, uh, but I also knew with this medical marijuana situation, I like being a consultant. You know what I mean? Why? Because, man, it's a billion dollar industry, bro. Trillion dollar industry. This is the number one cash crop in the, in, in the world. See? And my whole thing of it is, is that if you're going to be involved, then you got to figure out a way. How can you put yourself in that position to do it in a legal aspect for the time being? I was able to open up a company and, 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 and be able to consult with other companies and tell them how to increase their business. If the product was right, I never, I never, I never even attempted to even tell them about it. You know, but that's because I chose to. As far as, as far as me going to go look for patients, I didn't have to do that. Why? Because I put myself in a position where I was knowledgeable. And then I went to the state, the, the state's uh, uh, food stamp office, or uh, uh, human services office, and uh, what I did was. I told them about my program and they wanted to work with me, you know, and so, uh, hey, look, go back in there. But essentially, the knowledge that I ascertained over the years about, about marijuana, whether it, was, whether it was my personal experiences or it was just research and all, it's a combination of all of it. Like, I built my program around their program based off my own needs and based off my present condition. And I was in a qualifying condition to meet the, the needs of the state. And I figured to myself, well, if I could use this system, who else could? 
And what I did was I found a company who was who was willing to, to, to look take a look at what I had and we started to do this. You know what I mean? I ain't had to touch no so blow. Bottom line, I really got the big lead. Out of all that, that's what you get, man. Nah, I don't want to know. Out of all that, that's what you get? Right. No, Colorado is supposed to be the model state for the medical marijuana industry. This is the state that every other state is looking after. This is the state that every other state is looking after to model their personal medical marijuana program. Like, with Arkansas or Mississippi, whoever, whichever one of them, or us, which yeah. one of us pass it first? Yeah. Guess what? I'm already a step ahead of everybody. Why? Because I'm knowledgeable about the situation. And in order to be a consultant, you got to have some experience. Consulting means basically me telling you about this situation. You feel yeah. That's what a consultant means. And then you looking at you looking at what you can tell them, and that, and, and you taking the information that they're giving you. You putting together a strategic plan for for the benefit of a company. You know what I mean? But I'm able to do it in a legal aspect. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. So out of all that, I'm still able to be a part of this industry and do it legally. There's a way to do everything. You just gotta sit around. Find that out. Man, you got four people in here. Four of y'all, bro. Who those? Me. Now, you said two. Oh, y'all yeah, 17. I'm about 18. Yeah. Everybody 17. I'm 16. All right. Yeah. The, point, the point of what I'm making to you, man, is like, right now, this time the child got, y'all better be utilizing. I'm talking about for real, for real, because as soon as you, as soon as you leave money, them how it's a wrap, bro. Around. Don't look to go back. I mean, you never stop being a parent once you become a parent, but don't look to go back. And I'm gonna tell you something. If a man ain't got a skill or a, a gift or trade or something, if he ain't using his gift, he losing. You already lose. If your gift is painting pictures, art, and you ain't using it, if you ain't using it. You killing yourself right now. But hey, you got hurt. Hey, but now that you know, you have an opportunity to do something about it. You do. You got an opportunity. You do something about it. You do. But I'm playing. I'm playing football this year. But see, you got an opportunity to do something about it. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How we going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, and this is why I created, created the Eternal Book Life. Let me show y'all this. Y'all didn't know I had created this website, right? Or y'all heard about it. What is that? Eternalbookoflife.com. Eternal Book? No, eternalbookoflife.com. You never heard of it? Now that's crazy. Y'all be over here all the time. Y'all, you didn't tell me y'all never knew I had a, a, a website. You had gave me a card a long time ago. Right. This is the website mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing I don't like about it, well I ain't gonna say I don't like it, I do. It's got 140 character limit, you know, on your status, but that's to keep the status and status. Hi boo. I I need all the kids in there. Thank you. They just got it. They, you know kids, they kids. They're kids. <laughs> so Eternal Book of Life, man, it's just like Facebook. This is a global account of salvation. And what this is, man, is God gave me this idea um, a couple years ago, back in 2011. And uh, long story short, man, God told me that we keep a record for everything, but there wasn't a, a place where we could record what we had accepted Jesus Christ as our eternal faith. You know, that's, that's the most important thing. If we don't do anything else, you know, we do that. That's a, I mean, it's enough. Now, it ain't the fool, it's just, it's just enough. You feel me? It's enough to get you there. But do you really want just enough to get you there, or do you want the fullness of God? You feel me? The real blessings of God. <laughs> hey, but the point of the matter is, man, like, it's cool. 
You can do a blog over the discussion. You can post an event, photos, video, everything that you can do on Facebook, you can do on here. It ain't about a dollar. It's about protecting the interests of God's people. I want you to forget about it. See, if you get wrapped up on God and seeking you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, everything else will come. I don't need a whole lot. I'm good, man. I don't to take care of my kids, you know, spend time with my family, be able to talk and have these kind of conversations with guys like you. That's why I'm around. I really want to know what's up. And I can be me and y'all can be you, because that's it. You can't be yourself. Who else can you be? Really? All it takes is people to support and put content. How hard is that? Look what Facebook and Twitter did. Look what I'm trying to do for our city. I'm trying to get this back to y'all, man. Y'all got talents and skills and ideas that can be a part of this company. This is not just a website, bro. This is a company as well. A certified company with a tax number. A real legit thing. This is what it's about. God has so much more for you, man. There's so many other things that he's trying to get you to see. But when you get thirsty for him, when that feeling come upon you, and it consumes you, I'm talking about when you like, man, I got to know who I am. Like, I know what I stand for. I know what I believe in. Let me sit down. Let me see what I really believe in. Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a whole different type of understanding. And you look at things from a different perspective. I, I mean, I like nice things. Don't get me wrong. But is that my end goal? No, my end goal is just to live comfortable. And living comfortable means to me not having to pay nobody. Nothing. So we talking about what? Ownership. Feel This something, this something God put on my heart to create. I did it. It's the first place online where you can yeah. accept Christ. This question has to be answered. And it simply says, who is your eternal Lord and Savior? And Romans 10 and 9 tell me, it says that if I will confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, thou shalt be saved. You feel me? So to virtually type Jesus or Jesus Christ, that's the same to me as speaking. You feel me? We just wrote it virtually so the world be able to see. The permanent record. And this was the one thing that we didn't do. So I'm doing something that ain't nobody doing. You feel me? I don't know, man. You know, uh, you gotta be your brother's keeper, man. You gotta look out for each other, man. You know, we just don't, we just don't. Don't play around with that, with that uh, alternative lifestyle, choke, uh, jokes and all that. You know, we do that to each other. We do that to each other. We do We amongst me. And if there's, a, if there's an other amongst us, then, you know, let us speak now forever hold his peace. And then I conclude, right? Then we treat each other as such.